So how are you feeling heading to round three? Really good at that particular point, but you have to keep wrestling. And if you don't keep wrestling, if, if you want the match to be over at that point, um, bad things happen. So you have to stay in there. You have to keep battling. You have to keep playing. You have to keep fighting, just like in any other sport. You can't take your foot off the gas. And that doesn't mean that you have to. He put himself in a position where he didn't have to take a lot of risk at that particular point. But he needed to stay in there and battle and fight and wrestle the entire seven minutes. And he did a really good job of that. And, um, you know, you can't, when you have momentum in the sport of wrestling or in any sport, keeping that momentum on your side is huge. You know, and like I said, uh, if he would have given up that takedown at the end of the second period, or if, if Joseph would have been able to score a takedown at some point in the third period, he starts to get momentum, he starts to get hope. And when you stay in there and you battle and you fight and, and you're stingy and you don't give an inch, uh, you don't give your opponent any hope. And Makai did an excellent job of, of doing that and executing um, in that third period. I was hoping that he was going to do something that would like just, uh, that he would do something like out of character that would like throw him off and like, I could like just like take advantage of it, which he did it. But um, just him just like keeping attacking, but not really setting it up or like being a little bit more sloppier. Like I could feel it and I could tell that that was happening. So it just gave me just like the more confidence. Back points would be huge. Cause it's gonna be tough to give Makai the escape and then try to go out and score two or three takedowns at that particular point in the match. And, and uh, I think he was aware of that. So he was working hard to try to um, get some kind of turn where he could get some back points and, uh, you know, getting the escape, getting back to our feet and putting Makai in a position where he's really good. You know, neutral is his best position. So it, that was big um, at that particular point to be able to secure the escape, get the additional point, um, and which gives you a little bit more um, breathing room and uh you know and, and keep that keep that momentum on your side and that clock ticking okay coach frayer was telling you going into the third period relax 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 uh what did he mean by that uh and did you hear that message oh yeah i definitely heard that when uh he said it like he's basically like telling me to like um just calm down don't let like uh all like the excitement start to get to me where I start to mess up. That's why if you like watch the video, before I like go down to get him to the bottom position, I start to like shake off like my body and like, like uh, just like try to like just calm my nerves down. Because at that point, like you just like, the adrenaline is going through and like, you're just like, you're just like, um, you're getting uh, a little too excited. So like, you just gotta find ways and matches to like reset your mindset. So like you don't end up messing it up. I had to let it play all the way out. <laughs> well, I was nervous. Well, I've been around him for a long time and I know he couldn't hear me or anything, but I signaled like be smart. And I kind of probably did that for myself because I know he couldn't hear it. But uh, <laughs> I just knew if he, if, he, if he stayed smart and didn't do anything out of character that I had, I, he had a good chance. You had a good chance to finish on uh, finishing on top. Same thing, gentlemen. Hold, set, on top. Spread the hands. Spread the hands. Stay up. You okay? Relax. Relax. Back up. One neutral. One more for Lewis. To finish my thought about that inside trip, that's one of Joseph's setups. He'll do a hey, shot, maybe a half shot, just to get that contact so he can come up into the upper body ties. It's right there, he's coming right up into the underhook. Great defense by Lewis. He's so hard to finish on. Center it. Penn State came into this tournament with three wrestlers looking for their third championship. Joseph, one of those, on the ropes, a minute to go. 
Every time he's charged in, Lewis has had the answer. Like a wall. Joseph uh, on the attack here, and um, Lewis could be called for stalling right here. No attack, the single leg. Here's where Lewis was able to stay up and not let Joseph take him down. And wow, with the hips and drive across the takedown. The seal, the deal, what a performance by the freshman. Parents Keith and Charlotte looking at the clock, looking at the mat. Makai Lewis on top of Joseph brings his reign to an end. Makai Lewis, Virginia Tech's first national champion. so happy I, I felt like crying I, I that's why I went to the stage I started to go up there but I, I yelled his name and that's when he turned around and he looked at us and he came running so I just wanted him to know that we were right there with him as he was doing what he had to do yeah I was I was I was overly excited I guess I shared like with Makai like all these years of traveling and hard work and me and him fighting when he don't want to do something at a young age and sitting at the table not talking and all of that stuff it was worth it after all of that it was worth it for for everybody back home all the friends and youth program high school and the state of new jersey and all our family friends and everybody that had something to do with uh him along the way i think that was that was the payoff you mentioned uh, Coach Brayer there earlier, and immediately right after the match, Makai has a big emotional embrace with him. I thought it was pretty cool and, and indicative of the relationship that not just you, but your staff has with these guys. No question. Um, you know, and, and Coach Brayer deserves a lot of credit for Makai's development uh, during the course of that season and, and since he's shown up here at Virginia Tech. I and mean, he's spent a lot of time with them in the wrestling room, outside of the wrestling room. Um, so, uh, it was, it was a, as a coach, those are, those are special, special moments. And um, I think, you know, that's what makes sports great. And that's what makes wrestling great is you, you can experience that emotion um, and you see somebody achieve something so incredible and uh, to be a part of it and to know that you're, you know, that you've had an influence on that. And then to know that, you know, how much Coach Freyer helped him and to, to just watch that was, it was special. There's no doubt about it. So he tries to get through your hips and, and again, not from a position of advantage or surprise and you have the strength, uh, you get the takedown, it's pretty much over then. Uh, what's coursing through you at that point? Oh, well, at that point, like, it was like all, all the hard work that I put in, like not even since I've been like since I was younger, and then just everything I had to do just to be in the position to be where I was, like it started to like set in and I started to get real excited to the point where I almost let him go. And <laughs> coaches had to tell me to stay on top of him. And um, I just was, I was just was like, not, not just happy for myself, but just happy for everybody around me. You know, I just remember getting a big smile on my face and, and uh, just watching, you know, enjoying Makai's reaction, enjoying uh, the fans, uh, you know, the chance of let's go Hokies, um, and just kind of enjoying the entire moment. It was a long time coming for us. 
Uh, for me personally, you know, coming off the disappointment the, the year prior to that with Jared Hott, losing a heartbreaker in the NCAA Finals um, was, was difficult for me. So it was it was really cool and really fun. Makai, you go over for the, the big embrace with your parents, with your family members. Do you remember anything that was said during that, or was it just pure emotion in the in the hug? After I ran over, honestly, after I got my hair raised, like everything just like I don't really remember a lot. Like I remember hugging my family, of course, but I don't even remember like walking and like shaking people's hands and stuff, or like uh, clapping people's hands and people congratulating me, or like even my interview, I forgot about that. Keith, Miss Charlotte, he comes over, you're embracing. Uh, do you remember what you were saying to him at that moment, or was it tears, what, what was it? Tears, I'm happy, I'm happy for you. I was so happy for him, because I remember him when he was younger telling me, I'm gonna wrestle on that stage one day and I and to have it being done right then and there it was just like something it just took over your body it was like you're just excited and everybody's excited all around you so it just to make you feel good all over that he did it and he said he was going to do it yeah I, I think I when he when he gave me a hug I think I whispered in his ear and I told him that I was really proud of him and I know how important that is for a young man to hear that from their father. There's some parents or fathers that never said that to their sons. And I believe that was, you know, I've said it before, but it was really meaningful then due to the situation. And, and, I, and I know that was important for me to share that with him. To have a front row seat for that was special. Just to, to watch him uh, you know, and I don't even know, it, it was just so um, organic and not planned. And, you know, he, you could just tell that he looked over and saw his parents and, and uh, ran over and gave him a huge hug. So that was really cool for me as a coach. That's, uh, that was probably the best part of the whole thing is to, to see him go over there and, and be able to celebrate with his mom, Charlotte, and his dad, Keith, and a couple other of his family members who I know have been instrumental in uh, raising Makai and, and, and you know, uh, developing him into the young man that he is. And, and for me, that's special uh, because, you know, I've got a little bit more background on, um, you know, the kind of person Makai is, uh, how he grew up, uh, how involved his parents were, and, you know, how much they did for him and then how much in turn, uh, you know, he's done for Virginia Tech wrestling and then how much Virginia or how much wrestling is done for Makai as well. So uh, it, it was really, really cool. All right, Keith, there's this memorable footage of you uh, running up the aisle and it's hugs and high fives. And as you were saying earlier, it wasn't just Virginia Tech fans. It was just everybody in the building. Uh, first, what does that feel like as a father? Uh, to have that level of pride and just be so full of adrenaline, I would imagine, at that moment. And then second, where were you going in such a hurry? I was going to get air. I couldn't breathe. <laughs> I was. So, he left me. I was so overwhelmed with it. And then the, uh, one of the guys from uh, Rutgers was taking me out to the side just to open the door so I can get air. I was, it was just. It was just so overwhelming. I got to the point where I just, I couldn't breathe. I just, it was, it was, you know, I never, you know, that was the biggest stage. We've been a lot of places, probably the biggest stage that, that I've ever experienced. I, I mean, like, you know, with the NCAAs, I've heard about it. I've seen it on TV, but it's nothing like being there in person. Yeah. It's nothing like being there. That's awesome. Makai, you get back to Blacksburg. Could you anticipate the reaction from Hokey Nation? Uh, you were immediately, you had become a rock star. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, I didn't know that it was going to be the way it was, though. I knew that people around campus were going to know me, but I just didn't know it was going to be like that. Like, just walking around campus to have people come up to me and congratulate me and uh, being in class too and having people come up to me and congratulate me. That was like a really good feeling. I knew like all like the athletes saw it and they knew about it because like a couple of them like was watching it and they were, they were sending me videos of it. And um, 
just like uh just like just people around town i didn't realize how much people like really cared about wrestling all right last one they honor you at the spring game football and it was the loudest that lane stadium was <laughs> all day uh what was that moment like I mean, it was pretty cool like just uh them like uh recognizing me and stuff and then being able to like uh say that i did it and then have coach roby there with me was pretty cool and also after the fact that when i was like just walking up and even walking down to get recognized having uh fans like uh acknowledge me like uh, shake my hand congrats congratulate me and so people want to to like talk to me and get pictures and stuff that was pretty cool now i also got a picture with uh tyra taylor so that was pretty uh that was pretty cool too and like I mentioned before, I just think the way it played out and um, the the drama involved in it, you couldn't help but get caught up in uh, in the story of Makai Lewis winning the NCAA's as a freshman, winning the Outstanding Wrestler, and uh, the reaction we got when we got back on campus, back to Blacksburg during the spring game. Um, quite frankly, it was it was overwhelming, and I think it was overwhelming for Makai. He's not. Uh, he doesn't necessarily love the spotlight. He doesn't love to be patted on the back. Um, he's uh, not always comfortable talking about it. That's just the way he's wired. So um, it was definitely overwhelming for him and, and for everybody. But it was it was awesome. It was special. It raised the profile for our program. Um, it made a lot more people Virginia Tech wrestling fans and, and uh, got them really excited to know that they get to watch this guy wrestle for three more years.